here. Um, this video is going to be 10 favorites from the collection. So without further ado, let's get to it. Lots of good candidates picked out for this one. Um, not necessarily the most valuable cards in the PC, but still nice cards. Um, here's a Breeze Tops debut 2001. And if you watch my videos, I'm always ranting and raving about uh, that top left corner with the red. Most of the times when you see a card like this raw selling on eBay, it's chipped up. Um, this one obviously is pretty much perfect. So um, PSA 10 Breeze debut. His stuff is on the rise as he continues to break records. Um, here's a baseball card, an older one. So I'm a fan of pretty much all the older baseball sets. Um, here's 57 tops. This is a Willie Mays PSA 7. So not sure the value on this one. Probably a couple hundred bucks, I would guess. Maybe more. But um, beautiful Mays from uh, his first five or six years in, in the league. So a 7 on that. Um, so this is a great one. These cards don't pop up very often, but when they do, I try to snatch them. Uh, the the Breeze and Tomlinson sell for much, much more than the Vic. But um, I think I have this one for like 175 which I think is a good price for the Black Refractor, considering the, the low print on that. It's out of 100 So um, Vic, Top Chrome Black Refractor, 2001, PSA 9. Um, there are some 10s out there, I think. Um, as you can see with this one, it's off-center. It's a little fatter on the right, and that's what you'd expect. Um, if that, That's probably what's keeping this one from a 10, I, I would guess, because the rest of it looks pretty flawless, the surface too. So um, Now, this one is a player that's not going to be in the Hall of Famer for sure, but uh, I was always a fan of his story. It kind of correlated somewhat with Vic. Um, he was out of baseball for at least three years, I think, with the uh, issues with with drugs um but it was nice to watch his story josh hamilton come back with with the reds and then eventually the texas rangers and become you know one of the best players in the game for a, a, a few years um the uh his comeback ended um mainly due to he's always hurt mainly his knees so um i think he's going to try to give it maybe one more go but his body's probably not going to hold up so it sucks but he still slugged out 200 homers, and his story's awesome. Someday they'll have a cool uh, movie. I wonder what uh, actor would, would play Josh, so that'd be interesting. Um, this is a great card. So PSA 10 Fitzgerald Ultimate Collection. I just love this uh, classic set. Um, a lot of the older upper deck football sets are just nostalgic, and this is no exception. Um, you know, it does have, it doesn't really have true defined borders. I mean, I guess you could count this as the uh, center of the photograph, and these are the borders. But um, it's got white corners and edges, so it tends to be one of the um, less diverse sets to grade. So, um, not the toughest set, but still, a PSA 10 in this one of Fitzgerald. Um, he should move into third all the time in receiving yards. He's going to pass Moss this next season if he plays, which I think he will. Um, so we got this one now. This is a card that I'm a huge fan of it because the only way you can get this card is if you buy one of the uh, starting lineups. I think they were issued in it says 1989 in the back of here, but I always thought they were a 1990 issue. But it said the rookie year. I, I could be wrong on that because the card says 1990. Um, so, but it's the Griffey. It would be his first uh, starting lineup card. It's just a neat card, and the only way you get one is if you buy the starting lineup, and it's in the package. And it tends to get nicked up sitting in that package without a soft sleeve or anything. So to see a PSA 10 in this, and this isn't a cheap card either. I think it's like a $150 to $200 card. It was just sweet. And it's it's a cool photo too, so I'm a huge fan of this card. I picked that one up, I think it was over the summer, from Probstein or PWCC. Um, this is one. This is just a... Uh, truly cool card i mean this card when it came out in 2007 th these were going for over 600 dollars raw of the peterson um they've settled to about 150 200 but that's what happens with most players um as new draft classes come out and uh new players hit the scene collectors uh flock to the newest craze so uh he'll be a first ballot hall of famer don't, don't know how much longer he'll play i think he's going to be a free agent cut loose by the cardinals but i'm sure a team will uh invite him to camp 
to see what it can do. He, he looked like he had some flashes last year, so Ultimate Collection Peterson PSA 9 Mint Sweet Card. Um, back to baseball, so 1960 Tops Mantle. Now, this isn't like a true investment grade. I think 7s and higher are, but I'm, I'm really proud of this 6.5. I think it looks, uh, it looks really good. It's centered well. It's got some print surface issues there with the little, I don't know, that's just like a fading of the color and a little dark spot right there. Um, there are issues with it. That's why it's a 6.5, but I think for a, for the 6.5, it looks great. That scratch across his head, that, that's on the case. So um, there's the back of it, the little cartoon. But um, it was graded in the uh, last generation uh, holder, which those were only around for a couple of years before they went to the lighthouse. So 6.5 Mantle 1960. Um, next up we got this one I just got in like two or three weeks ago. It's just a Skybox Autographics Moss. Now there is a shorter printed version of this and I think it is signed in blue and it's hand numbered to 50. Um, and they are obviously sell for a lot more than this one. But a PSA 9 in this car, this is like a classic car from my childhood. I'm, I remember busting a box of, I don't know what it was, Skybox Premium. And I pulled a uh, John Avery and, and I later on I pulled Robert Holcomb. So those were some names for the 98 class. Didn't pull a Moss, but this card's sick. It's it's on card. He's in the Marshall uniform. Um, the back's got like a zoomed in picture of Moss right there. So it's a sweet card. And uh, hopefully that's 10. Hopefully I didn't miscount. Yeah, it's 10. Um, so this card, if you buy it raw, it's about a buck. But to get a 10, it was about 150. So that just shows you how tough this 93 SP foil set is. Um, I I definitely paid a ton of money for this car, but I've always been a huge fan of Manny. And this set's just uh, very iconic because it's got the Jeter 10, which goes for about 30,000. So the only thing I can see with this card is the top left corner and maybe the top right. Um, and I'm nitpicking, but if I'm holding the 10, I want it to look perfect. It looks, you know, it looks like it's very close to a 10. <laughs> it is a 10. It's in the 10 holder. But um, that's it for this one, guys. That's a sick Manny. That's got an insanely low pop population on that Manny. Um, I'll do some more of these. Um, I'll get this one uploaded later.